Hey everyone, Andrew with 745 Fishing. Today I am not gonna do a fishing video. This is actually, I'm replacing the bunks on my trailer because last week when I went fishing and I backed the trailer in uh, without the boat to put it back on, at the end of the day I noticed that one of my bunks was wobbly and I looked closer and it was actually disintegrated inside. Most of the wood was completely rotted and one of the bolts had actually fallen out. So I put the boat back up, I brought it home, and I've been running around um, getting some pressure treated two by fours, and I ordered some bunk carpet on Amazon, and I've got some 3M um, spray adhesive that I'm gonna use, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. All right, so here's the bunk. It is completely just loose and uh, just rotted inside of that carpet. So. Like I said, I ordered the carpet on Amazon. I went and got some uh, 10 foot two by fours this morning and I'm gonna cut those down to nine feet and uh, which is what these are on the nitro and uh, we're gonna get started. So I used my old Sears Craftsman miter saw. It's just a 10 inch blade, but it works for a two by four. I cut them down to nine feet and now we're gonna get going on the carpet. So not many tools needed for this job. I've got the 3M high strength 90 contact adhesive. I've used other brands and they do not stick as well as the 3M 90 does. Um, I've got a air staple gun, which I would highly recommend. It's very hard to do with a manual staple gun. And these are the very good scissors from the kitchen, which, you know, my wife would probably not be happy that I have them out here, but they cut this carpet like butter. So let's get going. So I've got one already completed and I'm gonna show you how I do the other one. But as you can see, I've got the two by four treated, um, cut down to nine feet, and I still need to cut down the carpet. I left four inches on each side of the carpet um, at the top and the bottom of the two by four. Here's the extra pieces that I'm gonna use for chalks in the garage, because those make really good chalks for the tires uh, since they are pressure treated. And uh, we're going to get going. I'm going to show you how I wrap this and how I spray it as well. So this carpet comes 12 inches wide. And so if you place a 2x4 in the middle of it, it's 4 and a quarter on each side. And then I'm going to measure 4 inches down here and cut it so we can wrap it around the bottom of it. And I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so once I have it all cut out and ready to go, I make sure that the two by four is in the middle, four and a quarter on each side. And then all I do was I just put it up on its side like that. And so now we've got an equal amount. So I know where the center is. I just fold that right up. And then the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the spray adhesive, shake it up real well. And I just like to get the bottom of that and the carpet, just like that. This thing had a wild, nozzle just accidentally sprayed on the floor but that's okay so i just like to get it pretty good because you want it at both because what this stuff does is you let it dry a little bit and get tacky and then it sticks to itself it sticks to each other um you want to get it really good and then just let it dry do not do it quickly or else it'll come undone all right it is tacky we've let it sit for about two or three minutes and all i'm going to do is just put this straight down fold it right down and it should be right in the middle still and i'm going to make sure i'm going to stand on all this just get it nice and put some pressure on it like a balance beam and just let that sit and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the sides as well. So the same thing that we did with the bottom, we're just gonna spray and I'm gonna kind of overlap so I get them kind of at the same time. Cause I just wanna get a little bit on the sides. It makes it a lot easier to work with once I start stapling it. Let that sit, do it on both sides. All right, so everything's pretty tacky on the side. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this up just like that. Just kind of like I did before I sprayed the bottom and I'm gonna let that sit and just kind of 
stick to itself on the sides and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That just makes it easier to staple when it's when it's ready. All right, so I've hired my son Reese to hold the camera while I do this. So it's really hot and humid out, so it's not sticking as good as it should on the sides. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle and I'm just going to hold this down. I'm going to use my staple gun. I'm just going to put one staple there and then I'm just going to work my way down making sure that it's as flat as it can be. I'm doing this probably six to eight inches apart just to start. I'm just putting these in here, just like this. Making sure it's nice and tight. All right, so this is what the end looks like on the one that I've already done. I have folded it over and it's nice and clean. And this one obviously looks like a present that hasn't been completely wrapped yet. So we're gonna show you how to do that part. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out the top of this. I'm gonna try to get it as straight towards the, towards the, towards the corner of the two by four as I can. And then I'm just gonna cut off this part of it completely. There you go. So now that's, now that's flat and it's showing the end of the two by four. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this towards the corner of it, just like the last one. But I'm gonna leave these two pieces. And what I'm gonna do, is so I'm gonna fold this one in, and I'm gonna fold this one in, and then I'm gonna fold this one on top of it just like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this one's in like that. I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna put a staple, probably three staples in there. Fold that over like that, put a staple on the end, another three staples, and then I'm gonna finish it off and fold the four inch flap that I left on like that. I'm gonna put three at the top and two kind of in the middle, just like that, and that is done. And that's what we're gonna do on the other side too. Hi guys, it's Will with 745 Fishing. I have taken over the camera and now this episode of 745 Fishing is about me. All right, so we just dropped off the boat at this local lake that's about 20 miles away or so from my house. But as you can see, this is the board that is bad. The, the bolt has come out of it completely and it is just, just toast. See that? And we're gonna replace it now. All right, so one of the first things that I do uh, when I've replaced these in the past is I want to just measure exactly how far away each one of these are and I'm going to do one at a time. But this is 14 and a half inches and then I'm going to come up here as well and let's see what these are at up here towards the front. I'm going to do it right here at this little area. 14 and a half all the way up. So these are actually perfectly straight. So that's what we're going to use. Let's, let's get them on. All right, so all we're going to do take out the bolts on, on this one there's only three bolts so this one should be done I've taken them all out and now we're gonna replace it all right we've got this board placed and it is 14 and a half inches exactly from the other one just like the other one was and I've got a clamp here of course my son will is with me but it is easier with the clamp just to get the pilot hole drilled for the bolt all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is just drill a pilot hole in this first bunk and then so we can get the bolt in. All right, since one of the bolts on the bad one fell out of it, I bought two stainless steel lag bolts just like this. I'm gonna put those on the very end um, when we replace these because these are stainless steel I don't think that the ones that came with it are stainless But I want the ones that are going to be more in the water most of the time to be stainless There we go All right, I'm gonna have will take out the other bunk There you go nice bud Let's get the other one done you just stay inside of there and do it. It's on that side. Just 
put it down here for now. All right, we're gonna have Will drill in one of these. Good. The new bunks are installed and ready, and Will is bringing it in. Well, we just got home. Here's the old bunk. Yikes. And look at that. Completely rotted. So, it's replaced. They work great. The boat slipped right on. And uh, we're ready to go.